The other day, someone asked me, what's your favorite word? And immediately I replied, peace. John Lennon says, peace is not something you wish for. It is something you make, something you are, something you do, and something you give away. And so today we are going to Oh, we are going to enjoy a journey to a place called peace. And it's not somewhere out there. It's somewhere inside of you. And as you discover it within your being, you will then create peace outside of you. As above, so below. And it starts within your own beingness, that discovery, that remembrance of the peace that you are, that peace that surpasses understanding. And in that, remembering that identity, that truest self, you then vibrate at that frequency and start to manifest that frequency of peace in your world, in your reality. And that's the journey that we'll be on today. Tensions and worries can accumulate in all of the layers of who we are. All of the bodies, the emotional body, mental body, physical body, the energetic body. There's the causal body, astral body, (laughs) buddhic body. We're a lot more than we think we are. And so during our time together today, perhaps you would allow yourself to arrive fully into the serenity of this very present moment, the only true moment that there is really. We will be nurturing your whole self in the magical lavender fields of a place called peace. Peace is you. It's in you. It is you. Let's go find it. Welcome to this practice of Yoga Nidra. Deep sleep with a touch of awareness. Position yourself in a way that feels comfortable, perhaps lying on the floor, on your bed, on the couch, or in a lazy boy chair. Maybe in Savasana pose, that's with your legs extended and your arms loose at your sides. Make sure your head and your neck are comfortable And perhaps you would place a thin blanket or pillow underneath your head or over your body to keep you warm. Let your body find that position that is so comfortable and comforting that you'd rather lie in stillness than move. You could possibly use something to cover your eyes In Yoga Nidra, we relax every layer of ourselves very deeply, allowing effort to give way to ease and tension to give way to release. Today, you only need to listen with awareness as you hear my voice. So in this state of Yoga Nidra, We exist in a place between wakefulness and sleep. And this allows deep-seated tensions to bubble up to the surface and resolve. Try not to fall asleep, but if you do, no worries. You'll still receive everything that your body 
is asking for. If you drift away from the instructions for a time, it's okay. It's natural. As you become aware, just simply start to listen again. Now, if there comes a time when you start to feel uncomfortable in your body, inquire curiously about this feeling and observe it. Just watch it. Don't try to figure out why it's there, where it came in, when it came in, or what the story is behind it. Just allow it. Very often it will pass. If it remains, you can stop the practice temporarily or altogether by turning your attention to your breath. Maybe inviting an angel or guide to comfort you within your mind. This is your practice and the experience that you are creating is up to you. All right, let's begin our yoga nidra practice. Feel the places where your body is touching the floor or the bed or the couch. Sense how solid it is, this supportive surface beneath you. There's nothing else to do. Nowhere else to be right now. You are in the perfect place, in the perfect time, with all the time you need. Invite your body to be still as it lies quietly on the earth. As you rest, let yourself breathe easefully. To deepen your relaxation, we'll extend the exhale to make it slightly longer than the inhale. So we'll begin by inhaling for a count of four, pausing. It's called sustaining the breath. And then we retain that breath, yes. And then we exhale for a count of four. Pause a moment again, delaying that next breath. So let's do it. Inhale four. Three, two, one, pause. Exhale, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, four, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, four, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, six, five, four, three, Two, one, pause. Inhale, four, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Now continue this just two or three more times on your own. Deep belly breaths. A 
observe any ways that your body is reacting to this breathing. Breathing can really connect us into our bodies and start to stir up some old memories and old emotions that have been stagnant and held in the trauma body. And it can be overwhelming, but please remember that you are safe. Feel for any changes in your face, chest, belly, arms, or legs. And return to your natural breathing and allow your body to relax and allow your energies to just become more and more deeply centered in your body. Maybe you would imagine a peaceful aroma arising in the air around you. Maybe it's the smell of chocolate chip cookies or a brand new baby. The scent of a bouquet of flowers. Or maybe you're out in the garden and You smell the chamomile or the lavender growing there. Peacefully resting and breathing with good smells all around you. Feeling yourself relaxing more and more and more completely. Give yourself permission to do nothing except listen. No expectations, no effort. Enjoy easeful and slow breathing, resting peacefully. Now is the time to connect with what's called your Sankalpa. Sankalpa is, it's an empowering tool to help you be the creator of your destiny. It is a statement of your genuine heart's desire, your most natural way of being in the world, of being that gift to the collective. So maybe your Sankalpa would be, I embody love. I am free from worry. I live in peace as peace. Well, if you know your Sankalpa, hold it steady in your mind now. And if you don't know it, maybe you would ask, what brings me joy? What brings me excitement? What causes me to want to get up in the morning and get going? What is the thing that I want to offer into the world? Just listen. Listen within. Maybe it's just a word. Say your Sankalpa three times to yourself in your mind now. Sense in every part of your being what it would be like if it were already true. So now let us take a journey through the body, stepping with attention from part to part. A part of the body will be named and using only your awareness, go to that part in your mind. At each place, visualize an immense peace settling there. Maybe it would look like 
a light purple light or maybe it would look like a gold and silver shimmery lavender mist settling in to each body part that's named feel each part of your body become so peaceful like the calmest of summer afternoons warm sun shining effortless peace just peaceful there's no need to linger in any one place when the next part is named you just bring your attention there and visualize that peace in that place Here we go. Become aware of the right hand. Right hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger. The right palm. Visualize peace settling into the right palm and all of your fingers. Become aware of the left hand left hand thumb index finger middle finger ring finger pinky finger the left palm peace settling into the left palm and all of your fingers both hands together both hands more relaxed right wrist peace left wrist peace both wrists together peace right elbow left elbow both elbows together peace right shoulder left shoulder both shoulders together filled with peace go to the right hip right hip peace left hip peace both hips together full of peace right knee left knee both knees together filling with peace the right ankle left ankle both ankles together peaceful the right foot peace the right big toe second toe third toe fourth toe fifth toe and all is peaceful the left foot peace the left big toe second toe third toe fourth toe fifth toe and everyone is peaceful both feet and all the toes together relaxing in peace now the back side in reverse the back of the right ankle the back of the left ankle back of both ankles in unison full of peace back of right knee back of left knee back of both knees together peaceful back of right hip left hip back of both hips together at peace sacrum filled with peace lower back middle back upper back all relaxed and peaceful neck all of its joints filled with absolute peace go to the hot top of the head feel peace spreading through the top of the head forehead 
relaxed and peaceful. Right eyebrow, peace. Left eyebrow, peace. Both eyebrows and the eyebrow center filled with peace. Right eye, peace. Left eye, peaceful. Both eyes together at peace. Right cheek, peace. Left cheek, peace. Both cheeks together relaxed and peaceful. Right side of the jaw, left jaw, and the whole jaw together. Absolute relaxation and peace. All of the face, feel the whole face relaxing experiencing the ultimate peace. Now bring your attention to the heart center. Right in the middle of your chest using your awareness, anoint this place with peace, with absolute relaxation, absolute peace in your heart space. Mm. Let your attention linger. Mm. This feeling of peace that surpasses understanding residing in the heart space. Become aware of your breathing, this natural, effortless breathing in, breathing out, inhaling, exhaling. Notice how the breath flows up through both nostrils and then moves back down through both nostrils. Feel the breath flowing in unison through both nostrils. Now concentrate your attention only on the breath that is flowing in and through the left nostril. Switch your attention and focus only on the breath that is flowing in and through the right nostril. Begin to envision or feel that you are mentally alternating that flow of the breath between these two nostrils. In through the left nostril, out through the right nostril. Or maybe the breath goes in and out just the left nostril. In through the right nostril, out through the left. Let the breath remain easeful, long and effortless. So We'll start by counting your breath in and out ten times. So just breathing in, that's ten, and then back out again. Breathe in again, and that's nine, and back out again. And keep doing this until you get all the way down to one, and if you lose count, no worries.
The birds outside my window here are singing a beautiful chorus of love and peace to you. I hope you can hear them. So now I will name several objects and if you want, you can create a very vivid picture of each of these objects in your mind. You don't have to stay with the object. We're just using our creativity, using that right hemisphere, practicing, using the right hemisphere, that creative imagination muscle. And if a picture doesn't form, no worries. Just keep going along to the next object. If your eyes are closed, you can allow the pictures to play themselves out like it's a movie in front of you. If any other shapes or patterns, sensations come along to play and be in the movie, <laughs> go ahead and welcome them. Bright golden sun. Full moon. Raven landing on a branch. An enormous sunflower. A snow capped mountain peak. Dark clouds full of lightning. Clear blue sky. A ship sailing across the sea. An anchor dropping. The smell of damp earth. A cool breeze across your face. Now perhaps we would travel to a beautiful and serene place in your mind. Perhaps you would see yourself standing on a cobblestone pathway in a very peaceful valley. There are green rolling hills all around you and it is late afternoon. The sky is cloudless and it is crystal clear blue. You step along the cobblestone path and before you opens the most remarkable vista. It is a stunning field of violet lavender flowers as far as your eyes can see. Your eyes slowly scan the horizon, taking in the enchanting beauty of row upon row of vibrant purple lavender blossoms. The air all around you is perfumed with a sweet floral scent of these fragrant blooms. The soothing aroma of lavender fills you with immense peace. Sends all cares and worries leaving you for this time. You step onto the soft sto soil between the lavender rose and stroll leisurely among infinite purple blooms. Just swaying in this fresh afternoon breeze. Those birds swoop cheerfully among the blossoms around you. Maybe they're hubbing birds and they're sipping sweet nectar from the tiny flowers. Perhaps you hear the soft whisper of buzzing bees nuzzling the blooms. Oh, look at those beautiful butterflies entrancing you as they dance around the small purple petals. Wander further into the lavender field. 
Allow your fingers to caress the soft, swaying lavender blossoms. Their delicate tops tickling your fingertips. Experience a feeling of quiet joy expanding within you as you continue to wander freely. The warm sun is dipping down to the west and the crickets are beginning to sing. The sky is shifting from that crystal blue to a warm, golden, yellowish orange. You arrive at the far end of the lavender field and see a small clearing. Lo and behold, there stands a great white two-story wooden gazebo. The gazebo roof and walls are draped with lovely lavender blooms and purple flowering vines. Tall, lush trees grow in a half circle behind the gazebo, as if cradling this most sacred place. An energy of extraordinary calm permeates the atmosphere. See there, a winding wooden stairway framed with purple flowers that lead to the second floor. You slowly climb the spiral stairs. At the top of the stairway, you peek around the corner and see an inviting open air space filled with vases and vases and vases of lavender flowers. Plucked, gathered, just for you, just for now, just because. Their soothing aroma infuses the air and envelops all of you. beautiful wispy curtains blow in the gentle breeze. You enter this space and enjoy the expansive view of the purple lavender field being bathed in that golden light. In the center of the room, you notice a place to rest. Oh, lavender-filled silk cushions await you. And so you find yourself being welcomed into this peaceful place. You recline comfortably onto those lush silk cushions and feel like you're floating on a cloud. From this vantage point high above, you watch the magical lavender fields sway in the golden sunshine glow. A gentle breeze blows as you rest here. Feel absolutely peaceful. The scene's tranquility absorbing into every cell of your body. And you notice that your mind and your heart are soothed, relaxed, opening, and resting in this blissful state. so easy. It's just so easy. It's just so easy. It's just so easy. Yes.
it's just so easy. Remember Zenkalpa, that heart intention that you created at the beginning of our journey together. Say it to yourself in this place, in this peaceful place. Repeat it three times, sending it into the heart of the universe that will work with you to make it true. Trust. Trust yourself. Trust the universe. Trust this heart's intention. Trust that you will manifest this in your life. As you say it in your mind, see it, feel it. See it coming true and feel what that feels like to experience it. Recall that you are lying there. Feel your physical body resting on the floor or the couch or the chair. Notice your inhale, that breath in, and the exhale, that breath out, that moves through your body. Just be the witness. Just watch any sensation in the middle of your chest and your belly as they rise and fall with your breath. Feel your arms, your legs. Move your fingers and your toes a little bit and then make any other movements that would feel good. You may want to roll to the side, just gently, comfortably allow yourself to rest before getting ready to Start to contemplate the experience that you've had. Bring into your memory any sensations or emotions that this journey that we experienced brought up. Notice relaxation in all parts of you after this time of self-care. Take your time to breathe in and out for a few moments. Notice yourself being so relaxed. Relax. 
If you're ready and when you're ready, slowly come to a seated position and press your palms together and in front of your heart space. You'll take a full breath in and fill up your belly, then your lungs, and just gently allow that breath to release. And now offer a deep bow of gratitude to that ever-present peace that is you resides within you and is the frequency that you are and the gift that you give the collective. So we complete this journey, this practice of yoga nidra today. I hope that you have been encouraged, calmed, and brought into a space of peace that helps you to remember your identity as love. Peace be with you.